Hey guys, um, Dr. Dabalin, board certified laser dermatologist. Today we'll be talking about um, acne scar revision, but I won't be talking anything about lasers, so no lasers at all in this talk. Um, I'll give you a little sneak peek about uh, my latest technique, which I have been working on for the last couple of months um, and have had excellent results. So that will be published in a journal uh, next year, uh, but it'll be on YouTube in the next couple of months. Uh, a little sneak peek here. But then after that, we'll be talking about filling. So how I perform dermal fillers uh, for different types of acne scars. Now, um, this fillers for acne scarring is the way forward because it has very little downtime. Uh, only certain types of scars can be treated, including rolling uh, atrophic scarring and some forms of tethered scarring. Uh, remember, it's not a treatment for everyone but certainly in my hands, uh, it can be a very useful treatment. Okay guys, here's a teaser on what I do. It's called Infini or um, Energy Device Microneedling. I like to use an uh, energy device, but actually um, an insulated needling system. So that produces about 20,000 micro channels. Uh, then I actually use PRP or platelet-rich plasma in an over and under technique. So over means it's actually over the top of the skin and these actually get spread into the micro channels. If the atrophic scars are actually injected under the skin, um, then these droplets actually get spread onto the skin surface. I then developed something called a PRP mask. So you can see me, this mask is actually infused with the patient's own platelet-rich plasma. The mask then gets placed on the patient's face, um, and then I infuse it again with what's remaining of the PRP solution. So imagine that you've got 20,000 channels on your face, uh, you've got your own stem cells, growth factors, and um, really good stuff. And then we actually use a stocking, and we actually put that on top of the face um, and to hold things in place for the next uh, 30 minutes. Healing up time is within, realistically, two to three days, um, and I tell the patients, don't walk into a bank within the next one hour, but the mask is off within an hour. So who is a good candidate for filler and subcision methods? The first thing to do is always examine under angle lighting. I keep saying this time and time again. That's why I can't actually assess um, just using normal photographs that people send me. I do need to actually throw the light to different angles from all directions, um, and this gives me the most accurate diagnosis. So once again, angle lighting, all directions. I also get them to um, animate, but most importantly, I get to actually touch. So if you can stretch the skin out like this, you can see that tangential lighting, in other words, angle lighting together with the stretch method, you can see how atrophic these scars are. And these are perfect, absolutely perfect for fillers and subcision. So stretching and touching is essential. So I cannot assess these just using by, just, just by photography. You have to actually touch and feel. The second thing I do well, sorry, the third thing I do is I get them to animate, so I get them to smile. If you get them to smile and move their muscles, I can see where the anchoring is and whether I need to use techniques such as subcision and how much subcision I need to actually use to actually get the end results. So remember, it's look with angle lighting, touch, and animate. And this gives me the most accurate diagnosis. So what are the different filler techniques that we use or I use to actually uh, treat atrophic and um, rolling together with tethered scars. There are not many methods described in the literature. Uh, Professor Greg Goodman taught me this and published this just last year. He taught it um, to me about four years ago. It's called the Goodman's Inverted Pyramid Method, whereby we go by um, we go vertical into the actual atrophic scar. We lay um, a good amount of um, HA low and then actually um, reduce it as it's coming up. This is my method, it's called superficial filling technique. Um, it's not a very hard technique. It's basically very, very superficial. Raise a bleb uh, and then squish it down. Not too much um, filler should be used, otherwise you can get a tendal effect with this. So it's great for um, superficial scars. I'm not subsizing, I'm just filling out these scars. So you'll see other techniques which I'll use where I actually subsize. These scars, if they don't have any give in them, um, in other words, if there's no resistance, it's just a superficial bleb and then a press down technique. Um, my choice of filler for this can be um, anything from um, Bolotero, but uh, my favorite filler by far is um, Juvederm uh, Vobella because uh, it is very pliable, 
Um, certainly pearl length can be used, but it's a little bit thicker. And um, this is me doing the subsision filling technique. So here I am, I'm not injecting, I'm actually subsizing. You see that? So there's no injection of filler yet. Um, and now I'm injecting. If I do feel resistance with the needle at the tip of the needle, I do find, if I do feel resistance, I actually subside to break down the bonds. That's very important because when I go in there, I don't know what's going to happen until I actually um, I fill. So this is called foundation filling. This, what I do is I provide the volume from underneath to provide structural support. So there you see me actually feeling to make sure I'm not um, hitting the temporal um, artery. Then I'm going deep. This is laying down filler to the periosteum, in other words, down to bone, and I'm injecting a good amount of volume to actually lift the scars from underneath. Excellent um, technique for supporting scars. Um, subcision filling technique, once again, on the contralateral side, in other words, on the other side. So I am um, subsizing. You can see me, I'm subsizing and filling at the same time. So as soon as I feel that there is tethering, um, I'm actually breaking down the bonds. So this is another method which I use, it's called a tunneling subsision technique. So you can see me, I'm actually trying to feel, I'm trying to feel, like, hey, what's going on? Is there something holding down this, um, um, this, this scar? If there is, I subsize. I also tunnel. The reason why I tunnel, in other words, I go back and forth, back and forth in all different directions, is to spread the filler evenly across the, um, across the area. If I don't do that, then you have a big blob of filler. So you can see I'm tunneling going back and forth, back and forth before I even inject, um, and then I inject slowly, and then the filler actually dissipates in that area. So it's very important, and I go back and forth again to make sure there's uh, no tethering. This is pure subsision, so you'll see later the before and after results for this. So I'm trying to figure out where is it in that scar that has the tethering. So I'm going back and forth, and when I can find that pucker, it's done. So there you have it guys, um, that's dermal filling for you. Um, it's my way of actually using dermal fillers to treat certain types of acne scars. Uh, remember, uh, please, please remember this, it is, not, it is not the only way to treat scars. There are multi, you, to actually treat acne scars to a good level, you need to actually know how to fill, you need to actually know how to uh, subsize, you need to do have, you have surgical expertise, you need to use, use chemical peels such as TCA cross, you go muck around with all of these or know all of these lasers, uh, micro needling system, PRP, the whole lot. And that's when you get the best results from uh, scar revision. So it's not just one technique, it's not just one laser, it's just the skills to actually do the whole lot. Uh, hey, I had this um, guy who came to see me from all the way from, uh, from Portugal uh, and he took a flight uh, just to actually come for a visit to Australia and um, I helped him over a period of one week. I can't help everyone but lu lucky for this gentleman, he had the type of acne scars which are basically the rolling atrophic together with scars around his temples which did extremely well with just two sessions of fillers together with subcision. So um, listen to his uh, testimonial once again. I, uh, it's not a paid thing, it's, um, it's not a, a, a uh, advertorial, um, it's just his experience with um, what he's had with um, what I do. Mario, how's everything? Yeah, great. It's good, good. Perfect results here, here, here. It's perfect. Uh, uh, very good. So look, I've skeptics out there on the internet to say, hey, look, you know, when we take um, a photo, when I take photos and look at... Um, uh, the photos through through lighting it's not standardized lighting and I say it's very very hard to do standardized lighting because I use you saw me yeah, before, yeah, yeah? yeah I use I light at all different ang yeah, angles yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Now, I always say the biggest uh, critic is the passion. In other words, it's yeah. you, right? Yeah, it's yeah. perfect. It's perfect, man. The atrophic scars are gone. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's incredible. Okay, so we can see on close examination, he's, he had atrophic scars on the, um, on the, on the temple area. They have, I wouldn't say gone there markedly improved, probably about 90 odd percent. He had a really, really uh, um, uh, atrophic scar, which was also tethered down on his forehead. And I subsized that. And how do you feel about that one? Yeah, this one is great. I mean, <laughs> it was my biggest scar, and now it's gone, man. It's, it's gone. gone. Okay. Yeah. That bruising there will will subside. Uh, the reason why I gave bruising is because I went underneath and I subsized it. So that's yeah. totally gone. Yeah. Um, the ones on his right temple, I would say once again, I don't like to say that they're totally gone. I like to say they're probably ninety percent improved. The ones on his cheek, um, which we could see with angle lighting beforehand. 
I would say it's probably about 90, 95% improved. Yeah. So look guys, I can't do this to everyone, but for Mario uh, who comes to see me with these kinds of scars, um, yes, two treatments and um, they're done. Gone, yeah, one week. <laughs> In one week. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> Great, Mario, man. thank you very thank much. You very much. So these are further examples of my filling technique. Um, this is atrophic scarring together with tethered scarring. I used obviously some HA fillers and this is about two treatment sessions, two to three treatment sessions. Um, this lady had lupus, so I couldn't use any lasers. So in the end, I used HA fillers and this is after uh, probably about three treatment sessions. Um, really marked atrophic rolling tethered scars before and after. Not a perfect result, but look, markedly improved. No lasers were used in this case. So there you have it. Oh, the other thing I'm gonna add is this, and in all honesty, what I do is nothing special. Seriously, uh, and I'm not saying that to be humble, I'm actually telling you the truth. There are a lot of good dermatologists in the world. There's lots of good dermatologists in the world who do exactly what I do, or even better. Um, I just actually tell it like it is and make videos on it. But there are guys in California, and you can find the links below, um, that are actually uh, really, really good at um, acne scar revision and use very similar techniques as well I do to get very similar results. So hey guys, I'm not the only one. I learned from the US, seriously. Um, so the US I think is um, cutting edge, but I just develop new techniques. So please, uh, if you're in the US, check these guys out um, and uh, they can help you. So once again, it's using, mastering different techniques, uh, like I said, from everything from laser resurfacing to fractional laser resurfacing to the use of um, TCA cross, surgery, subcision, filling, um, microneedling, PRP, the whole lot, even resell, the whole lot that actually gives you the best results. So remember, it's always the method and never ever about the device, whatever the device is. So, hey guys, thanks for watching um, and I'll catch you next Saturday. So once again, just to reinforce, it's always an individual approach. What type of scars do you have? Um, it is vitally important, like I said, that everyone examines the scar through angle lighting, animation, in other words, get you to smile and move your muscles, but also look, feel, and most importantly, touch and stretch as well. Thus, um, you know, when someone sends me a photograph, I can't really comment on what is the best method, because really we do need, I do really need to actually look at the angle lighting. And, especially touch and animate. Um, this gives the most accurate diagnosis. And like I said, time and time again for the third time, it's actually the method that gives you the best results and not the actual device itself. So thanks once again for watching and um, I'll catch you soon. To show you how old I am, I discovered something called Instagram and now I'm on it. So hey, if you're really bored, follow me on Instagram and I'll show you a couple of clips um, every week, 60 second video clips. So um, hope to um, subscribe. Thanks, bye.